So question nine, y equals a half x minus four. Again, we're just going to do the same uh, method as question eight, where to find the x and y intercept, you know, we're just going to say, well, what would we do if we're going to graph this with an x and y intercept? Well, we would just do the same thing. We would just make the little table, right? You'd plug zero in for x and zero in for y, and you would calculate each one, okay? So if you plug 0 in for x, what does that give us? That gives us y equals 1 half times 0 minus 4, right? Because you're going to plug 0 in for x and then calculate that. What does that give you when you calculate that equation? That gives you y equals 0 minus 4 or y equals negative 4. So this is telling us for this equation when x is 0 y becomes negative 4 and so we have this point here 0 negative 4 and that's a point on the equation and it's an intercept because one of the numbers is 0 right um, and then we do the other one when y is 0 right when y is 0 plug 0 win for y 0 equals 1 half x minus 4. So 0 goes there. And again, just like with question 8, watch out because your equal sign is here. This is a subtract sign. Don't confuse them. This is like the center of your scales balance. So both sides are equal and you're adding weights to both sides of this equal sign here. Okay or you're subtracting from both sides or you're dividing both sides but the equal sign is here not here this is subtract this is equal right okay so we've got to solve for x now x has been multiplied by a half and then 4 is being subtracted let's take care of this guy first of all how would you undo subtracting 4 what's the inverse operation what's the opposite of subtracting 4 adding 4 right so if you add 4 to both sides you get 4 equals a half x right how do you get rid of the half now x has been multiplied by a half well you can divide by a half but another way is to actually multiply by what's called the reciprocal what's the reciprocal of a half well it's 2 over 1 multiply both sides by 2 over 1. See that? Multiply both sides by 2 over 1. Because 2 over 1 or 2 times a half gives me 2 over 2. What's that equal to? 2 over 2 is 1. So that's 1x or x, right? And on the other side I have 2 times 4. What's 2 times 4? 8. So I have 8 equals 1x or 8 equals x. Okay? So this is saying now when the y value is 0, the x value is 8. And once again, when I do this, just so I don't make a mistake, I like to have a little graph here. And that's how I figure out which one of these is the x-intercept and which is the y. Here's my axis, x, y. Where is the point 0, negative 4 anyway? Where is it? x is 0, y is negative 4. That's right here, isn't it? Okay. Where is the point 8, 0? x is 8, y is 0. That's all the way over here. x is 8, y is 0. So which, and then if you were to draw the line, you know, your straight line would go through there. Which of these points is the x-intercept and which is the y-intercept? Right? Well, this one was your 0, negative 4, and this point is on which axis? It's on the y axis. So the line intercepts, hits the y axis at this point. So this is called the y intercept. And this point is where the line hits the x axis, and that's why this point which is 8, 0, is called the x-intercept. And that's why that is the way it is, right?